kind of kind of kind of episode of Fruit Party season two. <laughs> God, I could not say the words today. So yes, they actually are covering Fruits Basket Season 2, Episode 13. That we actually said that right. I said it right that time. So yes, Episode 12 actually was, once again, a very good episode. It was, it was an episode that kind of gave us context on Hatu's actual backstory and what actually did in Free Transpire, which is kind of, from a, from a fresh perspective, it actually is kind of vital because it does in free give you something that is otherwise kind of like... We know a lot about it, we don't actually know the full picture. Actually, kind of get a bit, bit more context, gives a kind of a bit more clearer idea. And then once again, actually highlights the idea of the curse itself actually being this curse in a way. A very, very large curse. And also, it was actually kind of actually see Shiraki actually kind of get happiness as well as Hattori as well. It's actually just really nice. I don't know, I kind of just get happy seeing happiness. It's just one of those things. Actually, Hattori as well, because it's actually kind of gone through so goddamn much as well. The poor boy. My poor boy. So anyway, should put on Twitter actually gone live. Alright, I do believe with them actually are good to go. I believe so. Yeah. For some reason, Twitch is a little bit weird nowadays. <laughs> this has completely changed from what I actually last used it two weeks ago. So I'm just kind of getting used to it now. So anyway, it's actually starts the thing in three, two, one. It's actually starts the thing absolutely now. Poor Kyo. My poor son. Which is so goddamn good as well. She's my she she's my favorite character, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's one. This is one of those shows that you kind of get an ounce of happiness out of it. Like, even though you understand there isn't always that sense of happiness all the time, it's not necessarily a kind of, like, inherently happy show because there's a lot of going on behind closed doors that really kind of, like, it makes you kind of, like, damn it all the time. But then you get that kind of bit of, like, happiness. You just kind of feel so good. The whole thing with Yuki, the whole thing with uh, Kyo and Toru as well, all those bits of happiness kind of make you just kind of go, yeah, this, yeah. Life be good though. Life be good though. It's the same thing with Hathri as well. Hathri actually kind of deserved that happiness to actually find that sense of happiness because he's constantly saying to himself that I don't deserve it. What I've left that long ago. It's kind of like, bro, <laughs> bruh, don't say those words. Don't make me cry, my boy. <laughs> I will go into the anime myself and just give you a hug and say, bro, it's okay. You are a very good boy. I know, I know for I know for a fact that you can't transport yourself into an anime just yet because the science isn't there just yet. But I, myself, was wore myself into the anime itself because by by sheer will itself, I will do it. For some, some reason, I realised last week I actually turned my microphone off. I actually turned it really, really low without realising it. I just I actually had to actually had to do it in post. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, wouldn't you know? I made a, I made a screw up just then. 
bad one as well, to be honest. I didn't realise. This is unconscious, unconsciously turn my microphone down. But honestly, I will, I will, I will just transform myself into the show itself and just go, Hartley, you're a good boy. You can't, you can't just say, you can't just say, bro, you can't do it. Impossible. By sheer will itself. Oh, is he, is he, is he, is he just saying brah at this point now? <laughs> Poor Yuki. Kind of adorable though. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, uh, I can't even. I can't speak to that. God damn it! The nickname actually is quite adorable. the entrance so by the way I, I, I took on this job for sheer reason you were here by the way you're my rival it's like bruh <laughs> how does one react what does one say that's the real question for you, Key. He's so good. Once again, if only you can actually just tell the character in anime, you're a very good boy and actually you're very, very cool. If only. Maybe I shall pioneer the signs itself.
<laughs> that is very much a mood. It's like me of anything in life. It's like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to sleep. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not too sure if I'm not as a vibe check or a bra moment. Or both. It's quite a peaceful, peaceful episode so far. Even if I'm not constantly on edge because I have existential fear of this show kind of causing me, causing me emotional damage by the end of this whole entire runtime, which I probably, I probably imagine might be the case because season one did. So <laughs> even though I'm kind of like, um, even though I'm kind of like, oh, this is peaceful, I'm kind of just on edge as well, to be honest. I'm very much on edge. I've watched many shows and read too much manga to actually kind of trust the show to actually not make me cry at the end of it. So I'm just gonna, gonna reserve my emotions. It's kind of interesting when you think about it. He even knows he, how he even knows he don't t necessarily think, kind of correlate with one another. They kind of do. It's kind of interesting. It seems like um, it's not one of those. It's just one of those groups that you kind of like. 
they're just trying to keep it together, essentially. <laughs> Yuki's just kind of like, what the hell is going on here? Someone else is just having a, um, someone's just having an essential breakdown, trying to figure out why, why this is going the way it is. You got the dude. You got the other, you got the other people who just keep quiet. It's basically just like, it's like life. <laughs> I actually kind of like this group though. <laughs> they are very interesting. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Haruhito Zamir for some reason. Like I get, I get those vibes from this from the actual group itself. But I guess, technically speaking, while in that show, it kind of like it's 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 kind of it's the idea. If you kind of if you kind of pose the exact same kind of concept in the kind of show like this, it kind of feels a lot like a left fielded kind of thing in a way. Because it, it's kind of this show is um, very much very much more grounded. So we actually kind of add like all these different things into like one episode. It kind of just feels a little bit overwhelming. We catch my drift. It's actually even the more interesting as well because it's 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 a lot of different things clashing with one another. So then, I don't know or not because of the way it actually kind of, it kind of like they're almost, what's the word? I just used a minute ago. <laughs> Clashing. It's whether or not it actually might, in theory, um, birth something out of it in a way. Like in essence, how it kind of creates that sense of um, understanding these characters because of it more. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh.
Oh. What's this feel like? It does kind of feel like um, it does the way they kind of do and react towards one another. It does kind of correlate well well with Kyo in a way. It is very, um, it's interesting because it kind of does not very under make you understand that actually some characters, even though some characters are actually kind of going through very similar things, but on a kind of different scale in a way. How some characters do in free mirror one another, but in a kind of different way. It's, it's, it, it's again, very interesting how they do in free handle the characters in this show. Yeah, it's um it's very um it's fascinating in that kind of way. Because to to a degree it kind of that whole entire scene when they were going at each other kind of felt like the the anger kind of felt like how Kyo and Yuki kind of um go to have an argument with one another, essentially. That's why I kind of thought to myself, well, it kind of feels very very familiar. But to that to that end, that one had a resolution at the end of it. Like in essence, how he kind of says, "Look, I'm sorry, I went, I went a, bit, a bit overboard. I'm kind of, I'm jealous." And it's actually, it again, it kind of highlights a lot going on with these characters. So you don't get to see until these moments tend to happen. Once again, it's not like the narrative dictates that these things shouldn't very happen. It's more the situations that they kind of, they kind of find themselves in. It kind of doesn't very bring to light these actual inner conflicts. Because of that, it makes it more interesting. Because you kind of get this, you kind of get an anime that examines. They examine these characters not through the idea of narrative, but through the idea of actually how how they react to situations they're currently in, and actually then what happens by the by that point. It's a very it's a very interesting way of doing it because sometimes it does tend to kind of fall into pitfall of like narratives do dictate the character should be in for a be feeling this emotion, or should be going through this because you know it you know the tropes are that way are that way. But this show kind of bucks the trend quite a bit and actually kind of just goes, by the way, um, we're not going to do it by narrative, we're going to do it by the by these these moments mean something. 
so not so them just walking and actually having a conversation isn't just um isn't just oh by the way it's it's just a conversation no it's more than that it's something more than that it's 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 bringing out the inner conflict his characters doing free have granted we understand yuki's in a conflict beforehand we've seen it but we've got a little bit more of actually the context behind it as well actually how he sees himself versus other people as well and it is once again highlighting the idea of actually the life that actually kind of he had in a way what what he went through actually kind of gets to this point and actually how even though even though um he's saying he's getting better there is still a long way to go and i kind of find it to be a kind of a very good point about this whole entire show actually how these characters even though they're developed it's not as if they're stopping like in essence there's still certain things with these characters that are very much highlighting they've still got a long way to go and that's the kind of important factor in this whole entire show that the characters have this journey still still within them they're not just saying oh yeah by the way uh, i'm better now and actually that's it no you can tell there's still go- stuff going on that needs to be fixed before they actually get to that point where they actually say they're happy and sometimes how how others doing free then react to them does then bring out these kind of inner conflicts actually kind of i actually kind of appreciated that because it's one of those things like without this moment you might have not got a little bit more context on yuki's character even though possibly later on i've actually got it but at this point it's a very kind of crucial emotional kind of crescendo so it kind of works a lot better here i actually kind of appreciated that i thought actually it's kind of a nice it turns what otherwise was a very lax episode that actually kind of as i said beforehand it was got to be on edge with the show it kind, of tends to, it kind of tends to something more meaningful. It tends to something that actually allows us to see more about you. Can actually then allow us to actually see where they have to go next, and what needs to be done to actually kind of fix where they are. So actually, kind of, I actually kind of find the show just energy fascinating. Actually, how they held the characters, and actually how he did in Fury Mirror you. Um, not Mary Yuki, Mira Kyo in a way. I thought actually it was very well done because it it was when they were kind of just having an argument. You were like, well, I just this just seems oddly familiar, and it's actually kind of true. Like the way they kind of act towards one another has that kind of very much similar feel to um, Kyo. But again, as I said beforehand, there's, re- there's a resolution within this whole entire conflict. In Kyo and Yuki's context, there's still a long way to go. But again, it's one of those things, I actually kind of like how characters do mirror one another in certain ways. It actually kind of doesn't fully tell you then. They might in free, that might in free bring out what might in free be the problem with that character as well. So in essence, well, we might not know truly just yet every single infinite detail about Kyo's character. Seeing it from de- seeing seeing a character mirror that character might then allow us to actually understand that character a little bit more in a way. It's kind of a very roundabout do- way of doing things, but it, ca- it kind of can in theory just slightly give us a bit more context on them. But I like that. If what actually, actually was a very interesting um, way to do it. it. Was it wasn't it. Again, it wasn't a waste episode. It wasn't an episode that actually kind of just allowed you to actually kind of just unwind for 25 minutes because it kind of meant something. It actually has more going on. You actually kind of see Yuki's perspective as well. Actually, doesn't free add, add a lot more to this whole entire show. And I kind of find it to be... I kind of find Yuki on his own even more fascinating as well because his episodes where he's just solely the actual kind of star of the episode itself allows him to actually kind of... Actually allows him to actually kind of become this ever great character, even though he's amazing already. He actually kind of grows even be even greater. I kind of like that. It's it's one of those things that this show can actually work so well with just one single character in the frame, without everyone else there. That actually is kind of cool. Like in essence, how some other show, how some other shows can't do that. This show does it effort, effortlessly. But yeah. Really, overall, it's a very good episode of this, of, of Fruits Basket. So I actually can't wait to see what else this show does in free do. I show you whether or not I actually have to be on edge constantly with this show. I don't know. I'm quite scared, but we'll find out. But as always, we'll end the stream up in Japanese as well. Oh god, it's actually really hot in my room. <laughs> god, it got it got really it got it got really hot just now. I was like, wait, was it? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, it's actually it's actually heating up my room for some reason. Do not live in brick houses. They are the worst. <laughs> right. Anyway, enough talk of my um, my ability to actually kind of retain retain coolness in my room. So, Goshisho arigato gozaimasu. Boku no doga wo amoshiroi to omotara ine ya channelu toroku wo onegaishimasu. So yeah, 
if you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on YouTube and doing free, leave a like because indeed it doesn't require a bit. If you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on YouTube and doing free, leave a sub because indeed it doesn't require a bit. If you have, a, if you have then enjoyed this stream on Twitch as well and doing free, leave a follow on Twitch because indeed it doesn't require a bit. If you sometimes will see these streams live on Twitch because YouTube's a bit weird lately. So if you ever see me just stream on Twitch, it's because YouTube's just been a massive boob about a lot of things, which is kind of a massive thing lately with them. So if you, if you have enjoyed this whole entire stream as a whole on YouTube and doing free, leave a follow on Twitter, or do you, do you want to this call as well? Because both of you help me quite a lot. I'm both of them tell you when these streams are live and any other streams I do as well. But tell us some more Fruits Baskets season two. See us later. Bye for now.